Hi, Christina Picas here, and I have a little tiny fabric haul from well, two trips to Walmart. And I um, wasn't even sure I was going to record this, but then I had a couple, and I wanted to talk about them later. So let's go ahead. So um, the first trip was uh, to Russet, Maryland, which I think Russet is kind of a make it made up name from kind of like an engineer community. Uh, it was always called Maryland City. It's in Anne Arundel County, where it borders up into Prince George's County in Maryland, if you're familiar with the area, um, between Baltimore and D.C. And um, so there I got um, first uh, this um, pumpkin orange um, jacketing. It's like a real smooth um, nylon on the outside. Uh, it's got some stretch to it. And... Um, so it's like a stretch woven, but it's uh, lined with a white um, a polymer coating. And I haven't tested to see if it's breathable, but it, it's quite stretchy um, uh, in, in one direction, um, width-wise. And so I'm hoping to make like a windbreaker or something like that for my boy. And at least I hope, I hope so. It's two yards, so I would love to make one for me, but two yards ain't gonna. Um, okay, so the next thing I got was a um, this lovely, thick, um, feels like cotton. It could have some polyester in it, um, shirting, and um, it's it's not dyed. It's a woven. It's just a really nice, heavy um, shirting. So I'd like to make a shirt or a skirt or um, maybe a dress or kind of for, who knows? I don't know. I don't have a plan for it. So this next one I'm already showing you pieces <laughs> because uh it was my, it's um actually tomorrow it's my niece's birthday my big niece and i made her another boyfriend sweater i made both of my nieces um love notions boyfriend cardigans um with the hood and the pockets um it's kind of hip length got a nice like, split hem there uh for last christmas and they really like them so um so yeah, <laughs> why mess with a good thing? So actually I asked my sister if you know she could use another sweater and she could. So I've already made it and I've already given it to her and she's tried it on and she loves it and I did not get a picture of it on. But this is, um, I've seen the same fabric on Sincerely Riley. It's, um, it's not terribly stretchy, um, but it's like super fuzzy. And actually it was surprisingly easy to sew with. Um, You'd think it wouldn't necessarily be, because sweater knits can be kind of difficult, but it just, um, yeah, it just trucked along. And I, you know, you do um, the side seams with the sewing machine um, for the boyfriend cardigan because it's split hem. No problem with the sewing machine. No problem. Oh, slight uh, hiccup once or twice. Um, I didn't have to resort to toilet paper this time, um, but with a, with a cover stitch, but no problems other than that. Uh, next, a lovely um, charcoal ribbed um, sweater knit, and I'm thinking a 40k sway for me. Oh, it's so soft. Um, love it. And it's already been through the wash, and um, as I, I also washed hers, and came out just the same as it went in. So, um, so, you know, sometimes when you do a sweater knit, you don't know if it's going to lose like half of the sweater in the wash. Um, both of them just fine. Then, some actual honest-to-goodness linen. I mean, it is truly linen. It felt linen-like. I washed it. It behaves like linen. Um, I should. I didn't uh, obviously finish the ends before I washed it, but um, so it's a couple yards of pretty um, decent weight linen, like a mid-weight linen. So that'll, I guess, uh, be probably a shirt for me. I, I really should not make too many skirts because um, I'm going back to my old habits of wearing mostly khakis to work, unfortunately. But here we are. Um, next, what feels like ten cell twill. It's it's a light twill. Um, probably could make dress pants with it. Maybe I'd feel more comfortable if they were lined, but it's only two yards, so that would be really difficult. Um, once again, a skirt, or I might just make um, a blouse with it, or you know something like um, like a button up 
uh, blouse with it. I also washed it and didn't take care of it ahead of time, but it washed, it, it washed beautifully, surprisingly. I also got um, a yard and a half um, of just their polyester interlock, and that's going to be bat wings. <laughs> and so, um, and that was the trip to Russet. So also um, this past weekend, I went camping in Rocky Gap and um, it was rainy and cold. So um, my daughter and my great niece and I, um, or grandniece, and I went to the LaVale Walmart um, out past Cumberland and uh, we picked up like a pile of fleece blankets and put them on our sleeping bags because we were so cold. And I got my daughter some you know, ready to wear um, sweatpants, which I mean, I hate to buy them, but we, we were so cold and miserable. But anyway, I also got some fabrics and they, they looked really picked over there, but they had things that I hadn't seen at my store. So that's fine. Um, one thing was this beautiful coral and I don't see it's coming out more pumpkin, but um, if you compare it to something that actually looks pumpkin here, you can kind of see how it's lighter. It's more, um, same color as my bob pants if somebody follows me and seen that um that fabric it's it's a much prettier color um a coral and it's just a, a crepe um like a blouse knit like a nylon probably and and then and the much sought after um cherry and this is a um, baby french terry and it's got some stretch and i'm thinking um it's three yards so I'm thinking I might just make like a statement sweet sleeve shirt like the Cambria or um, or like the Adrienne or something. If I do that, I mean, if I if I do something that's at all fitted in the top, I'm going to have to line it because it's not very it's um, not terribly opaque, <laughs> but it, with a nice white underlining, I mean, it would be be fine. So um, if I make something, you know, slightly um, oversized. I mean, I can always wear a tank top underneath it, or maybe it won't matter as much. But it's super soft, and I just really like the cherries. They had three or four um, packages of this, and the others weren't printed as um, intensely. They almost looked kind of aged, and it was funny. Um, so maybe like a quality control issue, but the one I got, it seems um, nice all the way through. Then I got um, double brush polyester. These are a vertical stripes. It's a, I can't tell the color here. It's a navy. And um, I'm thinking about making, so this is a um, choose your own adventure um, shirt from Rad Patterns. I'm thinking about making a boat neck shirt, maybe like this, um, maybe slightly less fitted. And with, I do have the all the sleeves package. And so maybe with some, once again, statement sleeves. <laughs> I'm like really wanting some more armor <laughs> this year. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to go with that until it, <laughs> until I make my whole wardrobe statement sleeves and it goes out of style. This next thing um, is a heavy Oxford cloth. And I mean, it's just super nice. I mean, it's just a, a real like a blouse Oxford cloth. However, it's only 42 inches wide and um, it didn't have any label on it at all. So I asked the person at checkout and um, I said, and she's like, well, you know, I can't work. And I said, well, I think it's two yards for four. That I have another one like that. She's like, just scan the other one twice. It's fine with me. I'm like, okay. Which is, is probably actually exactly what it, it cost. Um, it is only 42 inches wide and it's two yards. So it's going to be a real stretch to make a shirt for me out of it. Um, it would be a lovely um, big, like a Tarawa, Natarawi, Tarawi, Muna and Broad um shirt or olia um button down shirt but i mean either of those is more than three yards for my size so i'm not really sure i'm not sure what to do with that um then finally um i got a white needle cord and it's two yards and it's about it's about 54 inches and um also a you know, I'm going to see if I can do something with pants for that. Um, but, well, with the needle cord, maybe not because that whoosh, 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 whoosh issue. Um, we don't want to start any fires. I also got some dye to dye that navy. And maybe like a Florence skirt or, I mean, I'd love like a long, I don't know, like a, like a riding skirt kind of style. 
I don't know if those are in style, but if I make it and hold it long enough, goodness knows everything my mom wore to work is in style right now, so eventually it'll come back, right? <laughs> anyway, so um, I always have fun digging through these, and um, I hope, and I enjoy um, showing them off, and hopefully you enjoyed looking at them. So I'll see you next time. We will come back yeah. Only the story of what is good Oh, the world will be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace